So the combination reaction, it's also called the synthesis reaction, is probably the simplest of the reaction types. Essentially, we have two things coming together to form a new compound. So here we have substance A and substance B, the reactants, and when they react, we end up with substance AB. And that's a new substance, and it's going to have very different properties than either A or B. If we were to draw the whole reaction out, we'd have something like this, A plus B yields AB. An example would be iron, which is a solid, plus oxygen gas yields iron 3 oxide, which is a solid. Don't worry so much about the S or the G, but you can see the Fe and the O2 come together to form one substance. We want to balance this equation though so it obeys the law of conservation of mass so that we have the same number of atoms on each side. And that would look like this. But again, don't worry about that. You're looking at two different substances coming together to form one. That's a combination or synthesis reaction. So if we had magnesium metal plus oxygen gas, those would combine to form magnesium oxide. That's your combination or synthesis reaction. And we could write it out like this. Again, don't worry too much about the S for solid or the G for gas. You can see the two substances forming one. And again, we'd balance this just to make sure that we obeyed the law of conservation of mass. So you can see here, we have a strip of magnesium metal, and we're going to ignite that in air. And when we do that, the Mg and the O2 in the air will combine to form a new compound, MgO. It'll also give off quite a bit of light and heat at the same time. Again, combination reaction, we have Mg plus O2 coming together to form magnesium oxide. Here's the metal before, and then after the reaction, our MgO is a white powder with properties very different than the original Mg in oxygen and air. So pause, take a look at these four different reactions and determine which of the four are combination reactions. In the first reaction, they're not actually coming together, but rather the H2O is breaking apart not combination. That's going to be a decomposition reaction. The second reaction, that is a combination. We start with two things and end up with one. In the third one, the AG and the NaCl just switch places. That's called a double replacement or a double displacement reaction. And finally, in the last one, we have some really big coefficients in front, but we have Fe and S8 coming together to form Fe2S3. That is a combination or synthesis reaction. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.